Today I'm going to walk you through the Pickaxe Builder, where you can take your prompts and turn them into powerful AI tools. And we're going to take the example of a popular prompt of writing a cover letter for a job. And today it's going to be a job as a restaurant manager. Now, normally you'd be done if your prompt here, you'd hit run and it would give you your result. But we're going to turn it into a pickaxe so that anybody can run it. Now, I've highlighted the restaurant manager and I've turned it into a user input. And notice over here, this blue box appeared. Now, what's going on over here is this on the left side is your prompt that will power your tool. And on the right side, this is a preview of the form that your end users will see. This is how people will interact with your tool. Um, and you can customize it in all sorts of ways. And here, they'll enter their inputs and it'll run your prompt with their inputs. So let's keep writing this a little bit. Write a cover letter for a job as a blank. Well, let's put in restaurant manager, just so we can run with that example. But now, let's make it a little bit stronger of a prompt. Um, the job has the following job description. And here again, we're going to add another user input. And here they can sort of paste in this description that I found. So we can sort of run this and see how we like it. And in the meantime, we can actually start to build out this this uh, form. So we can call this the cover letter generator. And what does it do? Well, it generates cover letters for jobs you really want. And here, what are we asking them to put in? Well, what job are you applying for? And here, um, what's the job description? Now, here we see that it's uh, generated this. And this is pretty good, but let's say that we wanted to make it even stronger. Well, you can continue to refine your prompt as you test it. So here we can add another line that says, you know, be sure to mention your skills and experience doing, um, boom, and here we can enter another user input. And here they can mention whatever they want to do, you know, uh, manage busy bars, can cook to um, great at accounting books, whatever you want. Then over here, under the advanced options, we can change all sorts of stuff. We can make the output overall longer. And then maybe for this one, the job description, we want them to be able to enter a lot of text. We can make you know that accept tons of text. Then if you scroll even further down, there's all sorts of things like temperature and frequency penalty. We've set up some really nice presets for you, but if you want to go around and play with these, you're totally welcome to. Um, and then let's say that we're totally happy with this. Well, then we hit continue. Oh, see here, we need to act, add a question for them to answer. Otherwise, they'd have no idea what to put here. So we'll say, um, what relevant experience and skills do you have? Now we're going to hit continue. And here we get to this little... Uh, page to review our pickaxe before we publish it. We can give it a category, we can you know, give it images, you can shuffle through our house images, or you can even upload an image of your own. Then here you can control who can use it. If it's public, anybody can use it on pickaxe. If it's unlisted or private, that means only you can use it and the people that you send the link to. And uh, if we like all of this, we can go over here and then we hit publish. And it's as easy as that.